very unpleasurable outside. Listen to the wind down there. Well, we're gonna attempt to try to get the three diggers out of the field. We gotta take a funny course to get there, but to avoid mud. But it's time that we get hooked up and get ready for ready for action. engine. <laughs> Looks bigger than the other one, just by a little bit. All right, I'm gonna regret unhooking this here, but it, I don't know where to hook it up other than here, or unhook it so that we can hook up the stuff there. So it is what it is. I am in hot pursuit with my green jalopy. That thing is not going to be fun out here, I bet. <laughs> oh, I'll have fun. We need to burn. Get the torch. It's just like the 8430. She rides like a dream in the field, boys. Here comes Duggo. Oh, yeah. So the plan is the two 600s will be on the 58-foot field cultivator and the 64-foot. And then we're gonna put this one, being it's 475 horse, Brody, believe, uh, on the 45 foot. Oh my, it's rough going opposite of the rows. Um, and then the 580 is going to be on the 4200 Salford. The 450 is gonna be on the Land Roller, is what I'm thinking. Which one am I supposed to hook up to here, boys? Give me the big one, I want the big one. No, you go on the little one. <laughs> Woo! We're farming! Is the fields loaded in this display? Add that to the many things needed to be done. I don't think any deers have field that low because I wasn't sure if anything was going to change. Okay. I think we'll put that in the rock box. That got stuck in there last year and was I had to get this a one? bottle jack. It was a mess. All right. Typical. You hook up them. Okay. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> All right, one hooked up. Okay, I think we're good. We open this. You found our hammer we've been looking for. I tell you, good well, we don't. We don't even have to put it in there. So we were gonna switch the two 600s from digger to digger and put the lower hour not one on the one that's probably going to get the most hours. Oh, it's a dust storm. <laughs> oh, but this one don't have a class five hitch. That digger does. So we're going to do the swappy Rui and have it set up just like last year. This sucks out here. This is really, the spring winds are here. Get ready for the dust storm. I already got dust in my eyes. Number two hooked up. All right, unfortunately on this digger, the accu depth is not working. We tried a few different things, but we're, we're gonna fold this one up and bring it to the yard to, I don't know, have someone look at it or monkey with it, but somewhere where the dust isn't filling our eyes full of dirt. We generally don't like to drive with them folded up in the field more than just get in the field and unfold them, but I have no choice, it is what it is. We've made it to the to the road where me. then the tire either blew up or was low and come off the beat. Me and flat tires today. Brody's got the flat tire on his Impala. Now he blew up this one. Hopefully it just needs air, but we might need the air cannon. What'd you do, Brody? You 
big flat tires. The wheel bearing shot too. No, let's hope not. She stayed on one end. We're either gonna need ether or the air can and I'm gonna assume, cause I don't think our big Milwaukee pumper here is gonna beat it. <laughs> You don't, huh? <laughs> it don't have the air blaster feature. You know we had to try. I don't think it's working. I hear air leaking. It's not going up. No. You gain them? I actually think it's working, boys! We might be able to do this without walking. Is that rim cracked? We need a welder. Oh, man. Look at how dirty the rims are already. We got 70 pounds in it. Looks like it's gonna be good enough to get to the yard. It's supposed to be 90 in there, but I little thing is so nice, but it ain't the fastest thing in the world. So just a little update. Eric and Brody got the two diggers serviced. This one I've been diagnosing on the wiring. Mitch is gonna come out tomorrow. I've spent three hours of my day trying to trace wires, and I think there's something going on maybe in the plug-in on the tractor. So he's gonna come look at it, but Randy and his son are actually gonna go out and do some rock picking and knock some spoils down from some ditch cleaning. Tomorrow sounds like we might be setting on some equipment in the field, so let's hope. But we're gonna keep on going tonight here, trying to get stuff ready. I can't believe we've worked all winter and I feel like we most unprepared people in the world. But when I say it'll be the last time the diggers are ever parked in the mud, it's gonna be the last time, because this is too stressful. Too stressful! All right, we just went and picked this up. Eric pumped some tires on it. I see the bats are doing good. The sparrows are doing good. That's, that's always excellent. Put the battery in it. Had some wiring issues with a pump. I got that fixed, that runs. This, the only chemical that we need is triple flex. I've got the leftover 70 gallons from last year. I'm putting that in the side saddle tank here. And then I'm gonna put a fresh brand new tote up there. So then we um, are fully loaded on triple flex for when we get spraying. And Brody's still working on diggers. Dad went out with the, the hay buster rock picker. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Other than that, we are it's gonna be a late one. We're gonna keep grinding because I think it's gonna turn quick here. I think we'll be planting. I, I'm not gonna to say tomorrow, but very, very shortly. So I'm actually gonna get the fertilizer truck out because in the morning, Steve's back and he's gonna be hauling fertilizer for Eric and he's gonna spread, I don't know, I think he's found, Randy found a few fields that'll go so we can like work the kinks out of everything. And uh, I know how that goes though. 40 acres there is ready, that 80 is ready, and then you start and you never stop. Which is fine, I just, I just don't feel prepared. So I'm gonna get this out so that it don't get buried in here because we're gonna bring some stuff in here tonight that needs to be worked on. And he's probably gonna be hitting the road at seven in the morning. We'll get this out of the way. Still need to, uh, align the tracks, but that's, I know, a two hour job. And I'm more going on the critical work list. I can kind of do this type of jobs once everyone's in the field and you know, under control. Just want to get the stuff that's severely urgent done. Well, this spot will do for now. <laughs> So I just have a couple of things and the parts came for this thing, so I pulled it back in the shop. I gotta set a tote up there, measure how long these hoses right here need to be so I can put the end on there. That's like a 10 minute job and then put that electric solenoid on that hose to blow out towards the sprayer. I got time to do that. I might do that when it gets cold out tonight. And uh, I'm still waiting for this tote to go empty. And this, in fact, is the tote I'm going to use to measure my length. It's still going. All right, that's empty. I can get another one. How's it going? It's a madhouse, but it's starting to calm down a little bit. I feel slightly calmer. <laughs> but there's still a lot of things we gotta do. If we worked like we have done today all the rest of the year, well, for one, we'd kill each other. Like everyone would just, it wouldn't work. It'd just be a big but fire. Think of how much work you could get done. Everyone's running from piece to piece. Well, to now don't make it sound like we drag our feet. Well, it's a lot more laid back. For 51 weeks. Yeah, 
And I forgot, I didn't pack extra food for a 18-hour day. I just today. ate a burger. It was delicious. <laughs> uh, all right. What I think we're, we're ready. I'm going to go grab a different tote. We'll put on this, and then we can pull this in the shop and do whatever you want to do with them tight. At least that works. Well, should we all experience this for the first time? I think so. I think so. Eric, don't grab. Ah! So this is this is how it's gonna be. Loading uh, the totes up on the tote deck here. I'm just practicing with an empty one because I'm gonna manually move it around up there to get it to to know how this is gonna work. Sweet. So, if anyone was wondering how tall that is, that's about 13.2 uh, to the top of the tote. I better engrave that in my memory. So, I got that done, and Eric's working on this issue. He noticed that the, the valve stem had become displaced from the location that it's supposed to be at. So we figured, well, that can't be a good sign of anything. So we took this off, found this massive crack here, which caused it to loosen, I would imagine. And then when you stepped on the brakes of the truck to slow it down, the rim spun on this just enough to get the valve stem behind there. And now we got a strap around the tire, the big Swede pounding on this, me laying on this. Look at that Brody, have you ever seen anything like it? Hmm. It's very concerning. And very intelligent for what we're doing to solve it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! Well, now we get the tire off. This actually worked way better than even in our heads. That rarely <laughs> happens. Rarely. I thought this was going to be skid loader work here. And the tire is even going to come off. Oh, this couldn't be any better. To... It's stuck! You ever tried pulling with two fingers? Because I ain't got much hand strength there. What would I do without you? I know. I know. That's what I think a lot about you. Oh, that's some carnage. Yep. Brody, we need a welder. Otherwise, we got to do bearings, seals, the whole nine yards. Mm. Oh, man. That's not as bad as I thought it'd be. We're already back together. If you work late enough, you'll get the work done. It's 8, 8.20 and the sun's still out. Can you believe it? We got bigger trouble though. We got, we got major trouble. He's pulling her in. Impala down. Impala down. <laughs> just running her flat. Look at the marks you're leaving on the concrete. Brody! So we went to Eric's Impala because Brody informed us that he don't have a spare. I know. And look at, look at what we found in Eric's. It's like a motorcycle tire. It's so small. Look at that. But it'll get him home yeah. so he can get his tires fixed. I can't remember if this is the one where I just ran that lug nut on. <laughs> it might be this one. You think so? Well, that'll add to the excitement of the day. He just rams the lug nuts on because it only came with four. Yeah, and no spare tire. And no spare tire. How many pounds do you think you put in there? 120? Max PSI, 60. Sidewall ply, two. <laughs> it's a two ply tire. I wouldn't be going too fast with this one. I'm just waiting for the one that just bumped. Wow. Oh boy. Well, there's a problem. She blew out by the bead. <laughs> Look wow. at that cute little guy, Brody. This is nuts. It doesn't even feel safe. <laughs> I think there's a speed rating of like oh, 50 on these. <laughs> that, that is just making it look even sadder. <laughs> you got 60 in her. So this is how you keep your employees on your farm. You just go up and then the inside you jam your knife in. Yeah, is that what... <laughs> <laughs> then that's how you... Keep them for the, the spring. 
Did you see this, Eric? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 frame is probably Boeing. Has it been like that since I bought it? Remember I cried on it for a Yeah, while? you took the hammer and just yeah. beat it in. See? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's cool. Well, she's as mint as, almost as mint as it was when it got brought of here today. Nice car. So, <laughs> for sale, one owner, never on gravel. 3,500 bucks, it's all yours. Tint, tint and spoiler <laughs> adds horsepower. Oh my. We'll even take the sticker off so that you don't look like. That adds value. At least $100. All right, before I end the video for the day of the crazy town, um, we put this RTK receiver on here, took it off the planter, and we put a 2630 in here. We wired it up here a couple weeks ago so that we can do this. He's gonna go map a couple of tile lines so that we don't lose them in the future. If we ever wanna go back and uh, dig down and find it, we, it'll be RTK'd right where the line is. Um, that was another big reason of updating side-by-sides to a dustless cab or virtually dustless because those screens do not like dust on the touch screen. It actually ruins them and they are very expensive. So. Now we can finally do it. I had the other side-by-side -side rigged up. It was just too dusty, could never use it. And that was a large part of why I bought the other one and never could use it. So I hope you liked today's video. It was crazy. It's only gonna get crazier tomorrow when we get going. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, like this video if you did, and we'll see you guys in the next video.